Uh, thank you for joining us. In our top story, the Beaufort County School System under fire and facing a lawsuit from a former student who says the school system ignored the fact that as she was sexually assaulted. News 3's Andrew Davis is digging deeper into the lawsuit. He is joining us now live from our Low Country newsroom. Andrew? Well, that girl, known only as ER in the suit, says she was sexually assaulted not once, but three times in three years by three different people. Then she faced harassment, not just by the people who assaulted her, but by her classmates and other students. And this whole time, she says, the school system didn't help her. It teaches a child um, the authority figures are not going to be helpful, not going to be there for you. That's what attorney Joshua Slavin says his client, known only in the lawsuit as ER to protect her identity, learned during her time at Bluffton High School after getting raped or assaulted three times. The first assault happened in 2016 when she was just a freshman. She told the coach who allegedly did not report it. These incidents that happened outside the school, but then the gossip and the bullying about them came into the school and the school didn't do what they were supposed to do at that point to help this girl. The second time later that same year, again, word got out, and according to the suit, instead of admitting to the crime, the alleged perpetrator responded by, quote, putting her in a headlock and dragging her at school. The third time during her sophomore year, when she was just 15, the suit says she was raped by a 19-year-old senior, a football player. But this time, when she did report the crime, she claims the school did respond. She was encouraged to not pursue anything because they wanted to protect his football scholarship and his football future uh, over her safety. Trying to protect a rapist, you know, a, a perpetrator over this girl who's a victim. The girl eventually left to be homeschooled instead, and only now is she willing to step up and talk about the attacks she suffered and is willing to talk about them on the stand. She felt it was important that she step up and you know, seek justice for herself, but also send a message. You have to just do the right thing by a child who comes to the school and is asking for help in these circumstances. Now, the girl did not report the assaults to the police, only to the school system. Beaufort County Schools said they would not comment on this case because it is in pending litigation. So far, the school system, though, has not responded to the suit in court either, but Slavin says he has been in contact with their lawyers. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3.